Lake Cebu on the island of Mindanao in the southern Philippines is the home of Lang Dulai. She is an accomplished weaver, specializing in traditional Tiboli ikot cloth called tanalak. Creating this type of cloth is an elaborate process in which the weaver has to complete about 20 steps. Finer varieties of abaca plants are selected and the fiber is stripped from them by hand and then dried on frames. The thread is formed by finely knotting individual fibers end to end to form balls of continuous yarn. The patterning of the cloth is done with the ikat method using a tying frame. Yeah. After multiple dye baths, the yarn is transferred to a loom for weaving. Finally, the finished cloth has to be softened and polished. It is done with a shell using pressure tension from a roof beam. It takes an experienced weaver about four to six months to finish one panel of cloth. In 1998, Lang Dulai was honored by the Philippine government with the National Traditional Artist Award, a rare recognition of artists who achieve excellence in traditional art forms. The recipients of this award are chosen after exhaustive national searches by seasoned field researchers and vetted by scholars and experts in each field. Very few artists have successfully passed the rigorous interview process. The only other artist who received the award in 1998 was Salinta Monan, a fellow weaver from a different region of Mindanao. In the decades since, only six other artists have been honored with this award. The recipients of this award receive a lifelong stipend and full health coverage from the government. In exchange, they are expected to train the new generation of artists. Lang Dula used the funds from the government to build a weaving center in Lake Cebu. It was inaugurated only a year after she received the award. She started out with training family members in the methods of Tanalak weaving. These women have become experienced weavers, completing their own Tanalak panels and doing much of the work in the weaving center. Nowadays, Lang Dulai also has a lot of younger students who are at the beginning of their artistic education. They help with the weaving at the loom, but Lang Dulai still ties her own patterns on the tying frame. Lang Dulai knows more than 100 name designs. Taiwan. 
Hantar ogong. Hantar u benda lagi. Neli baju libun, libun. Sabak bun. The motifs relate to Tiboli oral discourse about sacred symbols, matters of courtship, and the natural world. Klembo, siufon. Some of the names describe overall patterns or compositional strategies of a textile. Others refer to specific motifs. The Philippine government asked Lang Dulai to sign her work. She never learned how to read or write, so she had to be inventive. She asked one of her grandchildren to write her name on a paper. In 1998, Lang Dulai was part of the Philippine delegation to the 32nd Smithsonian Folklife Festival in Washington, D.C. The experiences in the United States had an enormous impact on her life. <laughs>